Hello! Today, we will be interviewing Blake, the hydrogeologist. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Blake! Hi, Blake! Hi! Hi! Okay, so, what does it mean to be a hydrogeologist? That's a, that's a good question. Well, if you break up the word hydrogeologist, it, you can break it into two words, hydro and geologist. Hydro means water, and geol a G means earth. So a hydrogeologist studies the water in the earth. That's my job. Great. Right. Well, that's cool. Thank you. Why did you decide to become a hydrogeologist? How did I decide to become... Oh, well... I had a job one time when I was about 20 years old, and I had a job with your mom. And I got to work at a company where there were geologists, and they were cool. They wore, like, really cool clothes, and they looked super smart, and they had maps and, <laughs> and, and rock samples and stuff, and I thought that they were so cool. So I thought, maybe I should be a geologist too. So that's when I started to think about doing that. Right. And so, yeah. And then I also had a lot of rock collections when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. Do you guys collect rocks at all? Oh, I collect yeah. rocks, like I a collect lot of rocks. Cells. I found like a bunch of crystals <laughs> in my, under it, but it was awesome. Yeah, yeah I used to collect, I used to have hundreds of rocks, and I used to think that they were so cool because all of the rocks tell a story, and so that's I wanted to learn about rocks more, and so hmm. that's kind of how it happened. All right, thanks. Oh, did you go to university and for how long? I did go to university. So I went to university for six years. Whoa. Like, what grade are you in right now? I'm in grade six. Yeah, so you know how long you've been in elementary school? That's how long I went to university for. for. And most hydrogeologists have to go to school for six years because most hydrogeologists have what's called a master's degree. And so most hydrogeologists go to school for six years. I went to school for six years, but I didn't get a master's degree. <laughs> I got a special thing called a bachelor's degree, which is less than a master's degree. Okay. What is something interesting about your job that most people wouldn't know or expect? You know what's cool about being a hydrogeologist is that it makes you think about water a lot. Like, you guys, what do you guys use water for every day? Drinking. Drinking. What and else? Showering, washing things. And yeah. Cleaning, cooking, water. drinking. So there's, and even playing. Right? Yeah. Guess where you guys get your water from? Swimming? Do you ever think about where, Swimming? Do you ever think about where your water comes from? The Lake Ontario. That's good. That's right. But did you know that there's like 4 million people in Ontario that use, where the, they get their water from the ground? Really? And in Alberta, remember? Lola and Luca, you guys used to live in Alberta, right? Yes. Yeah. Not really. And you used to live in a city called Calgary? Yes. And you get your water from a river there. and But did you know that almost everyone who doesn't live in a big city gets their water from the ground? No, you know, I don't know that. No. Oh. They do. So before before there was hydrogeologists, there were, there's, there were people, do you ever watch cartoons where they, they there's a person yeah. who holds sticks yeah. and they try to that they can find water in the ground. That's how people used to think that you would find water in the ground. But um, hydrogeologists can actually find water and track water in the ground using science. So that's what's cool about being a hydrogeologist, I think. That's cool. That is cool. cool. That is cool. Yeah, I used to, because you know what, Lola? I used to live, I've lived in Calgary and Edmonton and Fort Saskatchewan. And mm -hmm. they all got their water from the river. And I never really thought about where everyone else gets their water from. But most people who don't live in big cities get their water from the ground. Hmm. How do you guys yeah. track the water like from the ground? How do we what? How do you guys track it? Question. We have to stick these little 
they're they're like wells, little small wells into the ground, mm -hmm. and measure the water level in that in those pipes. Then you can track which direction the water is flowing, and you can do tests on the on the wells as well, and it'll tell you how fast it's going. That's cool. That's interesting. All right. Yeah, question. it's it's it is weird, and it's hard for some kids to even understand because water like you see flowing on the surface of the earth mm -hmm. it flows in a similar way under the earth but you can't see it right so you have to kind of visualize it in your head <laughs> what are okay. some pros and cons pros and cons <laughs> um well some of the pros of being a hydrogeologist is that you get to go all over the world and see all kinds of cool things because uh, if you want to go and collect information, you have to go out into the field and you have to go and work out all over the place in the forests. I've worked way up north in the Arctic. I've wow. flown around it. Yeah, I've flown around in helicopters and I've seen, do you know what narwhal are? Yeah, I love narwhals. They're like one of my favorite sea animals. You know the movie Elf? Yeah. Yeah. And there's the talking narwhal. I saw. Well, I've seen yeah. narwhal in the wild, and I've seen walruses in the wild, and I've Whoa. been all over Alberta and, and BC. I've done a lot of traveling, and I've done a lot of work where I've got to fly around in helicopters. So that's, that's pretty cool. That's got to be a cool part of your job. Yeah. It is cool part of your job except sometimes after a while I get a little bit freaked out because helicopters are a little bit scary sometimes <laughs> but most people aren't as wimpy as I am so it's okay. <laughs> it's fun. Great. And so well, that's cool and I, I think it's cool to be a scientist. I like to be able to look at all kinds of numbers and do tests and stuff and then you can see what's going on under the ground where you can't see it. I think that's pretty cool. Some cons about being a hydrogeologist though, um, when you, because you have to go out and into the field and get all your um, information, that means you have to be away from home quite a bit, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I've spent, I've probably spent over, because I've been a hydrogeologist for 11 years now. Whoa. And I've probably- 11 years? Two or three years, full years away from home over that 11 years. So that. Hang on. <laughs> You're an Cons. evil person. Uh, so, yeah, away from home. Oh, I was talking about writing because some people don't like writing. A lot of scientists don't like writing. Mm -hmm. But you have to write a lot of reports. And sometimes people don't like to do that. Oh. So those are the big cons, I would say. Plus, oh wait, stop. The other thing that's hard is uh, not everyone likes math and chemistry. Hmm. Uh, and so if you don't like math and chemistry, then it's hard to be a hydrogeologist too. Yeah, because you have to calculate yeah. all the numbers. Yeah. Lots of numbers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. What is the hardest thing you had to deal with when becoming a hydrogeologist? Uh, there's a lot of things that I thought were hard to do because I I always really liked writing only, and I liked when I was in in school, like high school, I was always good at like drama and social studies and mm -hmm. English, and so I was telling you about math. The math in hydrogeology is pretty scary. And so it was a lot of hard work to try to try to get by and learn all that math because it's not what I'm best at. And same as chemistry, I was not really great at chemistry. So having to learn that was really, really hard for me because I'm always, I've always been really good or I really enjoyed writing and to just learn about math and science was kind of hard for me. Yeah. Another thing that was really hard for me is go to school for a long time you learn all these things about geology and then you get a job and you start working with people who have been hydrogeologists for as long as i was alive and so you 
think that you know things, but it turns out you don't know anything, and it's hard. <laughs> feel very stupid at first. <laughs> but then you get used to it, right? Yeah, I've been I've been feeling stupid for most of my life, so <laughs> it was really easy for me to adjust to that. But you no, know, you I think you just have to learn that it's not it's okay to not know everything that yeah. that it takes a yeah. long long time to, to learn, learn how to be good at your yeah. job. And I think I'm still learning how to be good at my job. <laughs> All right, yeah. It's a learning experience then, yeah. It takes a long time, right? Like when you're at school and you, or when you start doing something new, like gymnastics or maybe even acting, at first I bet you're pretty nervous, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It was tough. The more you do it, the better you get and the more comfortable you feel. And when you get comfortable, that's when you start to really be good at talk. Yep. All right. Do we have your permission to post this video on YouTube? Absolutely. Thank you. No Thank you so much for letting us interview you, Blake. Watch out. Well, no, what do you, do you guys, so you guys, what do you want to do, Luca? What, you said you wanted to be in the Olympics? Yeah, and then I want to be a journalist. A journalist. I wanted to be a journalist, too, before. Yeah? I don't know. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, because then you get to go to a lot of new places and find out a bunch of new things and be really cool. Yeah, yeah, no, that's good. It's good to have a job that will let you travel around yeah. everywhere. Like, uh, people need people need writers everywhere all over the world, right? Same mm -hmm. as hydrogeologists, same as scientists. You can be a scientist anywhere in the world, so it's nice to have that, nice to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. Um, I would like to be a scientist and uh and a like chef. Team. That's cool. And how to sing? Yeah. <laughs> nice. I don't know what else. <laughs> Well, I want to be a farmer, too. A farmer? Yeah. Did you know that when I had to, uh, in high school, they used to, I don't know if they still do, and maybe Simone or Andrew, you can tell me if they do or not, I don't know, but they uh, they used to make you take a test, and they, you would write a test, and when you handed that test in, they would mark it and then give it back to you, and it would say, here's what you should be when you grow up. And when I wrote my test, it said I should be a farmer. That was the only thing that I could do according to that test. So you know what? You know what was a good lesson? You should not listen to tests that tell you what you should be when you grow up. You should like figure out what you want to do, and then you should be that instead of letting a test tell you. That was yeah. 